Hi, I'm Tori and I am a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in pelvic dysfunction and I think that pelvic health and pelvic issues should both be more openly discussed and widely understood because everyone has a pelvis. So today we are going to talk about the different kinds of hymens that exist and we're going to focus our attention on a specific kind of hymen, the septate hymen, as I found this kind of hymen to be sometimes a rather sneaky culprit behind different kinds of pelvic dysfunction I've seen in the clinic. Hymenal tissue is a thin and membranous tissue that's usually located right around vaginal opening. We aren't really sure of its function. There are some hypotheses that have to do with protecting the vaginal canal from external infection during embryological development, but again, we aren't certain. What we do know for sure is that hymens come in many different shapes and sizes. The most common presentation is the half moon, which allows for menstrual blood and vaginal secretions to flow out of the vagina without issue, and it allows for tampons and other objects or body parts to be inserted without issue as well. Now, there is such a thing as an imperforate hymen, where the hymenal tissue completely covers the vaginal opening, as well as a microperforate and cribriform hymen, where there is either a single small opening in the hymenal tissue or several small openings. All three of these hymen types, imperforate, microperforate, and cribriform, usually show themselves earlier in someone's life because their symptomology is more straightforward. Menstrual blood and vaginal secretions either cannot or are very limited in their ability to exit the vagina and tampons and other things cannot be inserted into the vagina. And these symptoms usually lead to the proper discovery and diagnosis of these kinds of hymenal tissue relatively quickly. It's the final hymen type, the septate hymen, that I want to call to your attention. This occurs when the hymen has an extra vertical band of tissue that effectively creates two entrances to the vaginal canal, a right and left sided entrance. In this case, the vaginal secretions and menstrual blood can exit the vagina just fine. However, pending on where where that band of tissue is located, someone may have no issue inserting tampons or fingers or other smaller things, but they might have an issue removing their tampon or tolerating the insertion of larger things like penises. There's a couple of things that are worth considering here. First of all, that band of tissue isn't necessarily rigid. It can be flexible, it can move. Second, it doesn't have to be right in the center of the canal. It could favor one side, making one of the entrances larger than the other. Keeping those concepts in mind, it starts to make sense, for example, why someone might be able to insert a tampon without difficulty. They favor the larger entrance and that band of tissue moves out of the way, so they're able to insert the tampon without pain or discomfort, but it as the tampon expands with blood, when it comes time to remove the tampon, it's very difficult and potentially painful. The same could be said for someone's ability to tolerate fingering, but not penile penetration. And it could explain why someone might say that it feels like they're hitting a wall during penile penetration, but the proper diagnosis in this case actually wouldn't be vaginismus. Finally, septate hymens aren't always so visible. They can be located deeper in the vaginal canal as opposed to right at vaginal opening. So don't rule this out 
unless you've had a provider perform a thorough exam where they are manually sweeping the vaginal canal in search of that potential hymenal tissue. A parting word, hymenal tissue predicting virginity is utter nonsense and you can learn why here. That said, Thank you so much for watching and please do be sure to join me on the 10th and 20th of every month for future pelvic PSAs with surprise PSAs on the 30th where I attempt to cover an interesting pelvic health or pelvic issue related topic in five minutes or less. See you next time.